This year, the National Reconnaissance Office celebrates 60 years since its founding. Thanks to our heritage, NRO today has an unrivaled constellation of reconnaissance systems that help protect our nation 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. In celebration of our 60th anniversary, NRO has planned a year-long program throughout 2021 to highlight the key events, people, and innovations that shaped our past, present, and future. Follow us on social media for more 60th anniversary content. When we think about satellites today and near real-time digital data, it's hard to believe the first overhead reconnaissance efforts relied on camera film and balloons. The earliest film return reconnaissance efforts in the mid-1950s involved the U.S. Air Force launching high-altitude balloons over denied areas to take pictures. The Air Force then retrieved the balloons from mid-air. Reconnaissance went a step further once film was ejected from a satellite back to Earth, again requiring elite U.S. Air Force personnel to recover the film capsules. These early film vehicle captures are so important that we've hung examples in the NRO headquarters lobby. Another interesting point about our legacy is that NRO has always been both a member of the IC and the DOD. On September 6th of 1961, CIA and DOD signed an agreement to form the Jointly Managed National Reconnaissance Office. For six decades, we've worked with our DOD and IC partners to deliver critical intelligence to policymakers and warfighters worldwide. We're excited to launch from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility for the second time in 12 months, and we look forward to more opportunities to launch from Virginia's Space Coast. NROL 111 represents not just years of planning for this mission, but a six-decade legacy of advancing the nation's reconnaissance capabilities. When the nation needs eyes and ears where no other collectors can reach, it turns to the NRO.